Hi. Okay, uh, welcome to my first, well, not my first actual video, my first serious video. Um, what I want to do is for, I want to start a series. Uh, it'll be called, uh, actually, you'll see the title when I put it up there. And right now, I can't really say it correctly. So when you read it, you'll know that you do. All right, so my first, here's my first video. Uh, the topic today, um, well, a little brief introduction is my name is Shante, uh, and I am a psychology major, and uh, I do concentration in child and adolescent psychology, young adults too, um, and uh, maybe probably general in, in the future if I can't find uh, stable employment, but uh, this is this is my um, my first uh, webisode, uh, but my mini series that I want to start. Uh, I'm hoping to do it a long whole year, uh, but sometimes I can be a, a little procrastinator. So bear with me. Uh, what I want to do is I want to talk about different topics and like in a daily life and how to some coping mechanisms or just. Um, to just talk about it and maybe the, by comments that I can answer like in a future Q&A and we'll go from there. Uh, I know many people right now are having some kind of issues in their lives. Everybody does. It's called life. If you didn't have any issues, obviously you are not human or you really have some great medication. Um, and in that case, please do share. <laughs> um, but seriously, um, this will be my kind of way to outlet, uh, to talk to you youth, uh, you people who are want to listen to me. Um, maybe if you don't want to listen to me, I mean, there's tons of channels on this, on this um, social video place. So, you know, by all means, just go and look at the related videos in the description or something. Um, but what I want to do is I want to talk about like serious stuff, um, like some love, a little bit of self-esteem problems, a little bit of self, you know, self-confidence, um, some relatable things that I think that some people have addressed before, but they haven't really gone into a really strong detail. Or if they do, they just briefly touch on it and. They don't really say much that you can say, well, I feel great better now. I just, or you just, they just read you like a textbook description of the problem and they didn't really give you any real solutions. It's probably the common cookie cutter, just get over it or deal with it or you'll be fine, positive psychology stuff, um, which is very useful. Uh, but in some cases, you need someone to really understand where you're coming from, your own perspective. So. I'm hoping to be that person, okay? Um, but what I want to do is kind of just do that. Uh, and so I'm going to start this series. Um, and hopefully people will actually watch it. So thank you. Uh, first topic will be about mm, loneliness. Uh, I haven't really got into a really big, um, like a big kind of debate about loneliness uh, with anybody lately. But uh, right now I am uh, working in South Korea. So um, as a foreigner, uh, loneliness is a, one of the biggest, one of the biggest obstacles that I, I do face sometimes, uh, regardless of the many friends that I do have here, uh, both uh, natives and both foreigners, other foreigners from different countries. Um, but you can, loneliness affects everybody in life. You know, just you feel lonely. You go home, your bed is empty, just you about to get into it, and it's just you. Or, you know, you want to talk to someone, but your friend or family member, some of them are definitely helpful to talk to, and some of them you know that even if you talk, it just goes in one ear and not the other. They don't really listen. And they'll just like completely change the subject or something. So 
you don't really fully feel like you're understood. So that's why you continue to feel lonely, like no one knows about you. Or that you have to put up some kind of facade so people can actually interact with you. Um, loneliness is a sad feeling and a sad emotion to deal with. And it's not really cool, honestly, it sucks. Um, but you know what? The thing about loneliness is that it can be dealt with uh, in different ways. Uh, number one is a distraction. You need to find something to distract yourself with. You need to think of something that you should be doing instead of focusing on how lonely you are. You can do a video project, you can write some poetry and get it out of your brain so you can feel better. Some release, you know? Or what you can do, just keep yourself busy. That's number one. Uh, number two is you can try to go out there, put yourself out there, do some dating or try to meet some new people. If you're introverted, it's gonna be complete, it's so difficult for you, completely difficult because you don't feel comfortable in front of other people. Um, in that case, then you can do our, use our handy dandy technology, which is online. Now, you should try to be careful with that because there are many uh, troll, trollers who are on there pretending to be interested and then they just, they're not. So, you should really just really think about that. Um, and you definitely need to, like, it always just have some good to have some support. Um, single people need to be with single people. Single people with couples, you're gonna feel even worse. That's just the way it is. I mean, you can have really good couple friends, uh, and it's good to hang out with them separately, but together, no, nah, you're not gonna feel so great. And so single people, stick with single people until you both get into some kind of relationship or something. And if you need a relationship, you know what? What really kills loneliness is having a companion. Uh, a companion doesn't have to be another human being. It can be an animal. A dog is the, one of the best, awesome, awesome, you know, one of the best things to have. They love you for you, regardless. I mean, you have to feed them and you do have to walk them. Um, but those are just some, you know, minimal requirements. And a cat, a cat, you know, you something if you like it if you're one of those people who likes to challenge you don't want easy love then get a cat a cat makes you work for your love that is the bell from my school that means classes um finished uh but i don't have any today so i'm just you know just going to sit here um but yeah uh, loneliness it affects us all you know and you need to, especially in high school, especially middle schoolers, um, you, when you're trying to find yourself, you, you feel completely lonely. Um, or people who were in a relationship or were married and they, it just didn't work out. So you have to restart all over again. And that's a scary situation to be put into. Um, as for me, uh, I've been lonely for a long time. I'm not gonna lie. I have tons of friends, but you know what? Being with tons of friends, you can still feel the strong of mo a sense of loneliness, you know? Because, uh, you know, these friends are friends, but at the end of the day, again, you go home, it's just you. So, but one thing I will tell you is you'll be okay. You're gonna be just fine. Don't worry. Don't worry too much, okay? All right, so I'm gonna to touch, I can touch more about this subject in the future. Uh, if I continue this on, hopefully if I continue to um, this series and keep going, then that'll work uh, specifically, uh, well, specific. If, please forgive me, I'm, I'm, I'm a teacher now here uh, in a foreign country and my English is not as good as it used to be before I came here. So, um, it's a funny story, uh, which I'll love to, you know, tell you later. Um, but now, I should probably just stop this video because of the 15-minute limit, unless I can find a way around that. So, 
this is my first video uh, in the series, and I hope to talk more about the loneliness next time or start a new topic about self-confidence because you need self-confidence. Self-confidence is a key to get anything that you want. I'm serious, and I'm not lying, I promise you. If you are self-confident, people can tell, it radiates off of you, and people, they fall, I mean, like, they respect you so much more, and you, you feel such of an immense amount of power. But, yeah, so my kid's about to make noise, so I gotta go. All right, so, bye-bye.